if we need to innovate, then all the other teams with that interaction with them and actually get almost in there. Alter bubble of consciousness, your first priority is. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and Narcan is one of those drugs that if they if you give it to them and they don't really need it, it's not going to hurt them. Okay. So, which is another reason why they sell it on over the counter. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Awesome. <laughs> 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 Hi, my name is Ashley, and I'm a nurse, and these are my fellow nurses, and we are here to figure out what's going on. Is he speaking? Hello? Hello? Um, no. Okay. So let's... Feeling okay. Do you have a pulse? Um, no. It's a mouth to Jane Bowen. Well, 42 for a pulse. Okay. 78 for a respiration. Don't get some oxygen on him. Is this a suction on I'll turn the oxygen you can just crank it all the way. Go all the way. There you go. And then you're going to want to go behind by his head. Or, or yep. how about you let Ashley do that? There we go. Remember the E hold to the one in your There you go. Get his jaw up. Right. Do we have a pulse? No. No. Okay. It says we have one on there, but we want to make sure we can feel it. I can't feel femoral or carotid. Okay, so we also have cyanotic, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Yep. Yep. He's got a needle in his arm, and he's got track marks. So, so we're going to we go some our hand in his wallet. Okay. So we have a up to 88 percent. So keep going with that. But we don't have a heart rate or it's really slow. Okay. We have to look at our stat protocol that you always yeah. have in the ER. Mm -hmm. And when you're doing that, it's always when you can kind of see if you can feel a pulse. Okay. So kind of sneak down. And sometimes what you'll need to do is keep the pillow out to really lift that yeah, jaw up because he'll kind of not achieve in two the lower repeat two to three minutes. Mm -hmm. Good. And how often are we going to do that? Can we actually pulse? spray this in? Do this. And carry. Yep. Wait. Okay. Yep. Go right ahead. Ooh. Okay. Okay. So we gave the Narcan. Narcan's on board. How much did you get? One mil. Okay, we've got, we got some respiration. I got a pulse back. Yep. Good, good. So when he starts breathing on his own, then you can stop. stop or when you see his pulse ox go up high enough. Pulse ox is coming up to 88 now. We just need that heart rate to go up. Blood pressure. Alright, so we can probably lift his head up a little bit and get that pillow back underneath. You're in the hospital. He's awake, yeah. He's conscious. Hello, do you know where you are? <laughs> we, you're in the ER. We're trying to help you. Oh, 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 where am I? You're in where, the where ER. Am I? Where am I? You're in the ER. We got you. Uh, get, get, get away from me. Where am I? We're trying to help you. Sir, I'm going to just listen to your lungs, okay? Just go down this way, okay? Good. So, heart rate, we're still waiting, and we're getting our blood pressure. Can you take some deep okay. breaths for me? Right. So what other assessment should we do? Good. Not cyanotic anymore. Looks like his skin is getting pinker. Skin is oxygenating. We're probably going to want to start in that but I'm going to look at the rest of our protocol. Yeah. That lung sounds good. Okay, so what are our vitals now? Let's make sure that those are adequate. So that 88%. Is this what we're supposed to go with? Yeah. Is that what you were hearing, Kim? No, I heard like so 98 over, over 88. It was probably changing. So yeah. You were probably right. Okay, and so then a heart rate of 91. Good. Very good. So FPO2 is still a little lower. So do we want to put 
some oxygen on him? Maybe? Yes. Here. Go. I would go like three. Three. Three nasal cannula. Nasal cannula. Yeah. Do we have a nasal cannula? Okay. Sir, I'm gonna just put some oxygen on you to help you with your breathing. Okay. Where am I? You're at the hospital right now. What are you? What's your name? What's your name? Cody. Cody. But how old are you, Cody? Like obviously that looks a little infected. Cody. Cody, how old are you? So we just try to go below the bruising and the Cody, what's your date of birth? Cody, Cody. Okay, Cody, what did you take? Uh, uh, August, August. August what? Uh, August 29th. Uh, 29th? Yeah. What year? Uh, 19, 1997. Okay. Date of birth is August 29th, 97. She has his wallet here, so. Oh, anyway. Sorry. Good. How is lungs sound, actually? They were clear. Okay, good. Good. And then we need heart. Hmm? <sighs> Cody, what did you take? Uh, 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 some heroin. Some heroin? How much? Uh, 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 just a little, yeah. Just a little? Like, yeah, it's how in my much? pocket. It's in my pocket. It's in your pocket. Yeah. Is there anything in your pocket that's going to hurt me? <sighs> Do you have any needles in your pocket? Yeah. yeah. Okay, you do have needles in your pocket. Take them and put them on the table. Okay. 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 We got an IV going. Cody, how often do you use your heroin? I I just use a little bit. How how often do you use it? Is it every day? Is it multiple times a day? Um, every day. Yeah, so, sometimes a couple times a day. What's happening? Where you overdosed, and we're trying to get you some help. Cody, do you take any med or medications regularly? Yeah. What do you take yeah. normally? Oh, I I've had such pain. I didn't take it. Some Percocet. Some Percocet. Yeah. How much? How much do you take every day? Uh, well, I, I couldn't take it anymore. It costs too much. It costs too much. Yeah. So I'm doing heroin. <sighs> I've got empty needles, so I have no idea how much Cody, she's taken. Cody, I'm going to start an IV, and we're going to get some fluids in That's you, okay? Thing, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're assuming how, he probably did the whole thing. Did your doctor prescribe you the Percocet? Yes. Yeah. How long ago was that? Oh, oh, it was, it was for my back pain. I can't play football anymore. Oh, it got so bad. I wanted to play. It's all right, Cody. We're going to get you some help. Hi, this is Kim. I'm in the emergency room with um, with a patient that we need to get registered. I've got a, a wallet here. We need to get an armband on him. Uh, patient's name? Cody M. Sanders, S-A-U-N-D-E-R-S. Date of birth? 829-1997. Okay, and male, female? Male. Okay, uh, we'll go ahead and generate an organ for you. Thank you. Cody, do you know if you're allergic to any medications or anything? Uh, no. No? no? Okay. Oxygen, our vitals are good. What other assessments do we need to do? We checked for needles, right? Because yep. we don't want to get ourselves pulled. Our band has come up through the tube system. Okay. There's our band. Thanks. Can you grab me a ticket then? Tony, we're just putting a bracelet on you so we know your name and your birthday. You're in the ER. We're trying to get you some help. Your friends dropped you off. <coughs> Where did everybody go? We're right here in front of you, Cody. What are you doing? Yeah, 
What are you doing? I'm giving you an IV so we can get you some fluids. Vital signs. Um, we're gonna drop her leg. Um, oxygen at three. Okay, we probably could bring it down a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Doing okay? Yep. Yep. And I need an e-cigarette. Vibe, vibe. Okay. Two one is fine. Okay. And then Ashley, if you want to talk to him more about his addiction and find out some more information how often he uses, does he use anything else, and you know, what led to that abuse. So. Okay. So Cody, how often do you use your heroin? Like how many times a day or how many times a week? I've been using it every day, sometimes a couple times a day. And do you know how much you um, use at each time you do it? Oh. It wasn't much. It, it, it wasn't much. I, uh, I had to keep using it, though. Nice, slow breath, Cody, okay? Deep and slow. It would help with my depression and my pain. Oh. We're going to get you some help, okay? Yeah. What? Oh. Have you talked to a doctor or seen anyone for your depression or your no. no, no, no. Uh, I, I couldn't get the Percocet anymore. I didn't have enough money. Oh. How did you first get your Percocet? Did you go through like an ER or did your family doctor get it for you or give it to you? My doctor, he gave it to me. I had a football injury. Do you know how long ago your football injury was? A year. A year? Yeah. When did you start using your heroin? When when I got kicked out of the house and I couldn't get any money to get the Percocet from my friends. Do you know how long ago that was? <sighs> when did you get kicked out, Cody? Right there. Oh, a couple months ago I, I started Sleeping at my friend's house, yeah. Okay, and is that when you first were starting your heroin? When you yeah. were kicked out? Yeah. Alright, so we need yeah. I just used an e-cigarette and then I fight. I don't know what happened, but... So, what are you also concerned about? We gave our can. We don't know how much of heroin he did. Well, what is the other thing that we're going to kind of watch for? Um, withdrawal symptoms. Before withdrawal, what could happen if he took a lot of heroin? He could go back down. Right. So we're just going to keep an eye in case he goes back down and has another overdose. Because once the Narcan wears off, we might have to give another dose. So we'll keep an eye for that. Okay. Do we have any tape in here? But hopefully. Want to take your and later in our, yeah. Any other piece? Cody, do you, no, when you got kicked out, um, do you still, or do you still speak with your family or anyone? No. No? And you said you were living with a friend. Do you still live with your friend? No. Where are you currently living? Most they would have been I've been crashing on a couch. And where is this couch? At my friend's house. Oh, okay. No. Okay. So I'm just going to call Been there for maybe six months. So you've been at your friend's house for like six months? You would have called them right away, so. Yeah. Okay. Calling the lab. So. This is Sheila Sanders. Are you looking at his and leg? Cody probably could get him with his gown. Cody, we're gonna just get you in a gown so then we can assess you better. So we'll keep all your clothes, but you'll just hang out in a gown. Okay. Yes. Uh, the lamps are being passed out now. Patient bag up just momentarily. Okay. Thank you.